Now, welcome back into the second part of our interview with Sony recording artist Toku. He's a singer, and he's also Japan's most famous flugelhorn player. Who just recently traveled to Paris to record his latest album, appropriately titled Toku in Paris. Now, we did a late afternoon interview with him at the Hori Pro offices here in Tokyo, and that interview was aired, was on the air on FM Kokolo in Osaka. And in that interview, we talked a lot about his new album, and he introduced a few tracks from that album to our listeners on our radio program called The Pacific Oasis. However, after that interview, and since Toku was in such a good mood, I thought it might be fun to talk with him a little bit more about things he's never had a chance to talk about on the radio. And so now, here's the second part of our interview with things you never knew about Toku. This is Overtime with Toku, uh, and Toku, you got to be honest with the answers, or with your answers okay. to my questions, okay? you got to be honest. All First right. off, I love your t-shirt. Thank tell you. Us, tell us what you're wearing. It's a Motown t-shirt. Yeah. Are you yeah. a Motown fan? Of course. Who is not? <laughs> huh? Any favorite Motown artists? <sighs> Stevie Wonder? Nope. He's Tamala. Tamala. But it is a part of Motown. He was on Tamala. Oh, Tamala. Yeah, that was the name of his record company. But uh, it, it's record, a, oh, really? Yeah, ah, okay. It's part of so, Motown. A part of Motown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's well, okay. I, I, You're I safe. I totally thought of, uh, he was he was with Motown when well, he was young. It seems like he was with Motown, huh. but it was um, it was actually um, Tamala Tamala Records. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure you know better than I do. Have you ever heard of the Funk Brothers? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see them when they came here and they performed at the Cotton Club? Uh, no. Yes. He, he, really? Yeah, I guess it was about... Did uh, they come to the Cotton Club? Oh, I, I watched the, their documentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, Standing in the Shadows of Motown. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. I had a chance to meet those guys backstage. Wow. We did an interview with the microphones that we're using right now. That's exciting. Wow. And... Uh, after the interview that I did with them, mm -hmm. I was supposed to go from the Cotton Club mm -hmm. to the hotel, to the Weston mm -hmm. Hotel, where Stevie Wonder was, because my next interview was going to be with Stevie Wonder Damn. on that day. This is You're a true Stevie story. Wonder. Oh. So I was talking with Jack, and I forgot the other guy's name. We're sitting uh -huh. backstage at the uh -huh. Cotton Club. You know that uh -huh. area back there, right? Yeah. And I told the guys, I said, you know, thank you very much for your interview. I really appreciate it. I have to go do an interview with Stevie Wonder yeah, yeah. next. Yeah. Do you have any message that yeah. you'd like me to give to Stevie Wonder? Uh -huh. And he leaned back and he scratched uh -huh. under his chin like uh -huh. this. And he said, What did he say? Yeah. Tell Stevie he owes us some money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because these guys played on all, in the background of all of Stevie Wonder's songs, yeah. uh -huh. and they never got paid like Stevie. Stevie got all the royalties and everything, uh -huh. right? Cool. The Bunk Brothers were just the house musicians, as you know, after you've seen that oh, movie, yeah. Standing oh, yeah. in the Shadows they of Motown. They played it for many, many other artists. All the big yeah. Motown yeah. artists, uh -huh. right? So, yeah, they said, tell Stevie he owes us some money. <laughs> <laughs> Not some, yeah, probably huge money, right? huge amounts of money. Oh my, can you say that? Yeah, like, can you mention about this? <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, this is overtime, so this is like a podcast, okay. you know. Uh, okay. So, Toku-san, what's your idea of happiness? What is perfect happiness for you? Uh, uh, the only thing I can think of is music. Just uh. Um, drowning in music. Hmm. What about being with your dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, music is my life. Okay. Does yeah. your dog like your music? How, how does your dog respond when you are playing your flugelhorn? Uh, actually, he's he has uh, come to to my gig, and uh, I don't know how how he's thinking, but uh, you know. Uh, he he looks around, but uh, but he he watches me. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, he he's like probably he's thinking, ah, oh, uh, Toku is doing something over there, and uh, should I come to him or <laughs> should I stay? You know, pets are yeah. wonderful, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, 
Tell us the names of three of your favorite artists here in Japan. <sighs> Issei Igarashi, great trumpet player. Toshi mm-hmm. Kubota. Uh, yeah. In fact, we met at a Kubota yes, concert. Yes, yes, yeah. uh-huh. Right? That's why I, I, I thought about Toshi. Yeah. yeah. Ah. The funkiest man in all Japan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is the number one funkster here, right? Probably he's the you know first guy who actually brought you know funk mu- the essence of funk music to j- uh, J-pop. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song by Kubota? Many. Many. Okay. Many songs. Well, well you know we've been friends since two thousand one, and uh, well, I used to sing uh, Indigo Waltz at the karaoke many oh, times, yeah. uh-huh. and actually I played in Indigo Indigo Waltz with him at the MTV Icon. Wow. Yeah, it was a great show. So many artists, I and I'd say from Exile, uh-huh. you know, they, well, they're all there. They were like uh, the, the performing all the Toshi Kubota songs. Atsushi. Atsushi, yeah. yeah. Atsushi well, was there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd say, was, and, and Toshi, uh, they were singing in the world, and I I did a solo, Full Game Home solo. And Wait, uh, is that online anywhere? Can we find that? Do you know? I think you can find it on YouTube. Yeah? Yeah. What do we search okay. for? <sighs> I don't know. Toshinobu uh, Kubota, Atsushi, and just put all the names, all all the names, and you'll find it. Okay. And also, I did uh, uh, some other parts for for the show. And Toshi uh, sometimes come to uh, comes to my my uh, event, which I I've been doing since two thousand eight. It's called the Tokus Lounge. It's you know I I I I do DJ and also we we do jam session. Where is this? Uh, now uh, we and we've been doing it and at the Electric Ginger in Ropongi. Oh, downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah, that, that basement place. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Just underneath the um, what what's the name of the restaurant just above? Uh, Tsukiya. Tsukiya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that from time to time. <laughs> Which living person do you admire most? <sighs> living person. Yeah, living person. Your hero. Your personal hero. My dad. Ah, oh, well said. Is your dad a musician also? He is a professional musician, but he's a totally music person. And uh, probably he's the biggest influence. What does me. he play? Many things. Guitar, banjo, violin, uh, mandarin, mandarin uh he used to play uh, bluegrass music, so so he plays all those instruments and also a little bit piano. Bluegrass. Yeah. W- here in bluegrass. Tokyo. No, in in Niigata, which is my hometown. I see. Yeah. And country music is bluegrass mm-hmm. music is popular there. Not popular. But he yeah. did it. Yeah, he was doing his own band. Yeah, there there are some people who play uh, fl- bluegrass music in Niigata. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how he, interesting he, is he, that? he went to the university in Tokyo, uh-huh. so that's how he started. Yeah, but in, even before that, he was, uh, you know, when he, when the Beatles came came to Japan for the first time, he, I think he was in high school. So of course he was, you know, he was totally a rock and roll uh, kid, and who was playing a, a guitar. I think mainly guitar, and, and oh, I, I, then he sings a little bit. What about your mom? Is she musical also? Uh, she is musical, yes. Uh-huh. She loves music, and uh, actually, she was doing a uh, uh, chorus uh, for my dad's band in, in in university before they got married. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, music is probably just... the first time I spoke about this uh, on the, on the radio. Is that right? <laughs> See, I wanted to get to know you just a little bit better. I, I'd like our <laughs> fans to get to know you a little bit better now too, since you're now an international artist. Mm-hmm. And your music is being played inside jet airplanes, Air France. <laughs> um, which figure in history, which person in history mm-hmm. do you admire most? Or do you identify with? Is there somebody in wow. who's been on this planet that you identify with most? Uh, Miles Davis. Mm. Uh, can I say Miles Davis? The- sure, oh, you can say anybody. Um, Miles Davis, mm-hmm. that's a good choice. Mm. That's a great choice. Well, there are many others, like you know, of course, Stevie Wonder too. But um, Miles, Miles Davis, actually, my dad is a 
huge fan of Miles Davis. He took me, I mean, whole family to uh, Miles Davis's concert when I was fourth grade. Mm-hmm. I I, th- I think I was about ten years old. He came to Japan, and actually he came to my hometown mm-hmm. in Niigata. I I think that was nineteen eighty three, four around there. Didn't he start a club somewhere near where we are right now, a, a hotel in Megadon? Oh, yeah, yeah, Blues Alley. Blues Alley. Yeah, probably, that, I think that that's the same time. Well, anyway, uh, when he came to my hometown. And that, that was the first and last time. Uh-huh. So my dad took whole family there. And wow. the only thing I remember is that it was loud, yeah. and my dad was excited. <laughs> But somehow uh, his music I- I remained in, m- in me, and I was a, I was a, a outside boy actually mm-hmm. when when in my uh, uh, kindergarten not not kindergarten elementary school. Then w- when I went up to the, to the high school, they didn't have a soccer club. You know I loved playing soccer soccer mm-hmm. yeah. But uh, so I I got depressed. Then I went to check out check out a brass band club. Then I look around and I decided that what I wanted to play. So that was a cornet, you know, very similar to to the trumpet. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's how I started playing my horn. And but I stopped my uh, playing my horn in my high school because my high school was a far kind of far. Mm-hmm. But instead, I started playing the drums and the bass. Oh. And after that, after gra- graduating from my high school, I started playing the guitar. So you yeah. still play drums, bass, and guitar? Not professionally. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just for fun. I see. Only sometimes. Coronet is your love. Yeah. Then, in, you know, I, I met Miles Davis again. I mean, uh, me, uh, what I mean is uh, I, I was working at, at this tiny city shop as a part-time job when I was a freshman in my college. Mm-hmm. And I bought one of uh, Miles Davis' CD, and uh, which I didn't know. That like he was, uh, he used to play a straight ahead jazz in the fifties. Yeah, right. I've never heard of that before. So uh, I was so surprised. I pulled out my cornet again and I started copying the Miles's line. Wow. Then one day, uh, somebody uh, heard me copying <laughs> Miles Davis, and he took me. He, he was, actually he was a drummer, right. and took me to the way he was playing with his piano tree every Friday night. And I s- still go there and play, actually. Mm-hmm. And I sat in and I played uh, exactly uh, the same as I copied. And the piano player goes, uh, you, you play with exactly the same as Miles Davis did. Uh, what does that mean? And that was improvis- improvisation. Right. What? Improvisation? Yeah, it, it was improvisation. Wow. So you what? copied his improv? Yeah. Because, you know, only thing I knew was a copying, you know. Wow. So, That's amazing. To then copy Miles I, Davis. I got to know that uh, you know what jazz is. Uh, I, I mean, uh, you know how how you you know you play you play jazz. I mean, jazz has a uh, is you know improvisation. Sure. So, I was like, damn, so, this music is really interesting. So Miles Davis has been the biggest influence in your mm-hmm. life. I think he brought me back to to the music again. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Toku, this is kind of an extended interview. Are you okay for time? Sure. Are we okay? I'm good. Okay. I think so. I think I'm good. Are we okay? Okay. We're just checking. Want to make That's sure. Checking with managers and everything. <laughs> What's the? Re, remember now, okay. this is an interview where you have to be honest. Mm-hmm. What's the one thing you dislike about yourself? <sighs> <laughs> Okay, what what's the word? I'm I'm getting it, but um, I uh, sometimes I can't decide the things right away. Indecisive. Uh, hmm. Indecisive. In- indecisive. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's the word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so. Uh-huh. Indecisive. I see. So when you go that's, to yeah. when you go to buy clothes, when you go to a clothing shop, you have a difficult time trying to pick out which clothes you want to buy. Okay, I I don't go to go to a clothes shop often, but uh, yeah, whenever I go, I think 
Yes, I think I do. I have a difficult uh, uh, Same decide. thing with me. Really? Yeah, I have the same problem. I can never decide. Well, like, you know, in, there, there are two, two ways to go somewhere in, right. or in front of me. Then, you know, I, I just hesitate, you know, which one I should take. Exactly. You know. I was with Peebo Bryson one night. He was performing at the uh, Blue Note. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to go shopping mm -hmm. before his gig uh -huh, that night. Uh -huh. And so we went walking through Omote San. Yeah. You know, they have yeah. all the de designer shops mm -hmm. there. And we went into one shoe store. Mm -hmm. And he was looking shoe at a pair of shoes. And he said, Kamasami, which one should I get? Should I get the black ones or the brown ones? Mm -hmm. Now, Toku, <laughs> I have to mention that these shoes, each pair was mm -hmm. about $1,000. Oh, these were yeah. really expensive shoes, uh -huh. $1,000 shoes. Yeah. And he said, which pair sh should I get? And I said, people, I guess... I guess you should get the pair that matches the pants you're going to wear. Uh -huh. He said, you're right. <laughs> I'll get both pairs. Oh. Yeah. He, so he bought both pairs of shoes. I wish night. I could do it. 2000 bucks for a pair, two pairs oh. of shoes. Yeah. Um, oh. What is your greatest extravagance? What do you spend money on? I mean, let, that you just don't care how much it costs. Uh -huh. Just got to have it. Just got to have it. For me, okay. it's microphones. Oh, you know, oh, okay. yeah, I don't care how much the microphone costs. I just uh -huh. got to get the right microphone. Uh -huh. what, do you, what do you spend the most money on? Uh, okay. I can say anything. I can anything. figure out anything. Yeah. Except yes. drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say. <laughs> that would never happen. I, will use I know money you too for well. Drugs. No, me either. Never happens. Never. Um, you know, if I can have a uh, uh, huge money, and I, I don't know if if I can do this, I, I, I don't think it, this thing is gonna is not gonna be fixed by money, mm. but I would say world peace. World peace. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a beautiful thought. I mean, uh, that's uh, I, uh, what I all let's pray. Can you be our president in the USA? Can you come to our our, <laughs> our country and be the president? If you could, you could have the entire defense budget and spend it on world peace. How wonderful would that be? Yeah, that'd be I great. Mean, yeah, everywhere, I mean, every world will be, you know, will be great. Okay, now that we've People solved world peace, each other, you know. sure. Mm. Okay, let's consider that problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> World peace. I love it. When you were a child, what mm. was your favorite toy? Uh, camera. Mm. Oh, when child. You mean child? Yeah. Like a, how? How? How old? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, around okay. that that okay. age. Then the camera. Uh, I was not hanging, hanging with uh, cameras. Ah, uh, four, five, six. What was it doing? I don't remember. Probably uh, the mini cars. Mini cars. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Race Is cars. That how you call it? I I, I yeah ra race yeah. What are they? Uh, matchbox cars. Matchbox cars. I think oh. they're called matchbox cars. Oh, okay. Something like that. You had a collection of those. Not not like big collection, but uh, I I loved those and uh, you know it just like. Bang. You know, just think you 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 know, you imagine that that you are driving and uh, make, making up your own stories, right? You know, then just you know, go go play with it. Great for the imagination, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you ever lie? Do you ever tell a lie? <laughs> Have I ever, ever told a lie? Yeah. On w what would you lie about if somebody asked you a question? What would you lie about? Would you lie That's about your age? Questions. You know, we have we have some friends uh -huh. who are female singers. If you ask them their age, they will never tell you the truth. Uh, okay. Well, well, I have lied a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm mostly I lie to make someone feel better. Oh. Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think I did a, like, big lie. Uh, like, you know, evil type of lie. 
Mm. I've never done that. That's good. No, I, I don't like I don't like it. Nobody likes that. Mm. What is your greatest your greatest regret? Oh. Uh, greatest regret. Yeah. I don't know if this is a regret, but uh, um, I would say uh, I uh, didn't become a president. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Are you into well, politics? Uh, Do you talk about politics with your friends? Uh, not every friend, but uh, yeah, the, only the friends I can talk with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because uh, y- y- I don't know, y- y- you can't really be uh, open about this in this it's, country. It's very know? difficult, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah, because yeah. you can get into an argument very easily mm-hmm. and or lose a friend, right? Mm-hmm. Very possible. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, seriously, yeah. or I w- wish I uh, I started practicing <laughs> earlier, much, much earlier. Seriously, mm-hmm. yeah. That's your greatest regret, <laughs> yeah. Or, or that's the lie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both. Let's move on. <laughs> Who or what is the greatest love in your life? Who or what could be your dog? Or your coronet, or your music. music. Your music is your greatest love. Mm. Family, music. Mm-hmm. Uh, hard to choose. I mean, hard to pick only one thing. But um, uh, love, right? Love. Uh, I almost say love. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a good answer. What is something you dislike most? Some people might say wasabi, macaroni. (laughs) Uh, To me, it's not food. Uh, Dislike. Um, hmm. Uh, People who have a stereotype really strong. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that's the only thing I can think of now. No, that's a, uh, your answers. There are no wrong answers, no right oh, answers, yeah, right, only right. only your answers. Yeah, it's not about wrong or right, I know. We're getting close to the end. We're almost finished here. Just oh, a few yeah. more questions. How would you like to die? Uh, while, I'm, while I'm playing on the stage. And wow. During my show. Yeah. That would be dramatic. You think so? Oh. Well, I mean, that will be the the happiest happiest moment of my life. But your audience would be in tears. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I'm sorry about that, but uh, that's the that's the how I want to die. Standing up with yeah, your standing coronet. up, or singing or playing, and all of a sudden I just go, wow. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there have ever been any musicians who have done that. It seems there was a drummer who died mm-hmm. here. Really? And uh, who was the guy who used to work with uh, Niall Rogers? He died here in Tokyo. From Sheik. From Sheik? Yeah. Not Japanese? Not Japanese. Oh. Edwards? Bernard? Bernard Edwards, was it? Bernard Edwards? Uh, no. I don't know. Sony Emery? No. And uh, Rolf is the doing now. Uh, I, I don't know previous drummers, actually. And I, as I remember, I think Don Ho from Hawaii uh-huh. died while he was on stage. Really? I'm not exactly sure, but it seems he died either during or just after a performance. Mm. Final question. Oh, okay. What is your personal motto? Do you have a personal motto? M- motto. M- motto, or something you live by, words that you live uh, by. Okay, motto. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Um, world peace. World peace. You've said that some several yeah. times during this interview. Uh, that's what I always pray. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of right now. You should create a song called World Peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, uh, huge to me, but um, yeah, I should. Mm. 
that's a really hard question. It is answer. hard. Yeah. Or, I mean, or uh, oh, maybe, or, or I, I can say this. Uh, what's the word? Um, um, don't don't forget your uh, when you're newer beginner. Uh huh. What, what's the? Uh, do you have an? Uh, do you have a uh, English phrase for that? For when you're like, a don't beginner? forget your, you know, when, when you start something, you're you're feeling excited, and it just you you don't have to forget the, that kind of feeling. Don't lose. Don't for, for me. I would say don't forget your keys because keys. sometimes I walk out of the door and I forget my keys to my apartment, so I can't get back <laughs> in. Don't forget your keys. That's my my personal motto. No, I, I would say don't lose your passion. Oh, lose my passion. Yeah, I think that's what you're trying oh. to say. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lose my passion. N- no way. So maybe it should be something else. It's okay. <laughs> As I said, there are no wrong answers, no right answers. These are just questions to see, get us to know you a little bit see, better. This is what I, I dislike about myself, you know. <laughs> you forget things. No, no, no. I mean, you know, it, it should... Should I pick pick up something else? You know, ah, just, the indecisiveness. See? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. And well, like what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Anyway, Toku. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. well, let's make it world peace. World peace again. Yeah. Okay. Toku, thank you very much for thank spending you. time with us. Thank and you. Once again, congratulations on your brand new album on the Sony label, Toku in Paris. You're hooked up with Sony. You're with the best. It's been twenty years. Twenty years. Congratulations. Actually, yeah, twenty-one years, uh, years actually. Yeah, since I, I signed with uh, with Sony Music in nineteen ninety-nine. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. I hope you go for twenty or thirty or forty more years <laughs> for as long as you can blow your coronet <laughs> <laughs> or play your clarinet, I should say. Yeah. Well, uh, well, my full year horn will be a uh, uh, my you know my guide for my music hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. does your and flugelhorn I, have a name no no because you know bb uh, king named his guitar lucille some really? musicians you know remember that um i mean i, I know some musicians named their instruments right yeah. Yeah. but you don't have a name for your instrument yet never thought about it well do you if think you I, I i should think 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 of something well you're kissing it like okay. every night right yeah yeah uh-huh. so it should have a name. Okay. <laughs> when you come up with a name, let us know. Okay. All right. Then I have to, uh, if I should uh, name every of my horn, then I, <laughs> I would have like six or seven names. Well, you would have a, me. You'd have a harem. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have a different girl every, every yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Again, Toku, thank you very much for thank spending you very time much. with us. It's been a pleasure to get to know you more, and I'm sure your fans have enjoyed getting to know you more as well <laughs> as you become an international artist. That's great. Yeah, that's really great Yeah, to play outside of Japan Yeah, and uh, meet new people, meet new, meet, meet new musicians. Yeah. That's uh how I live. That's how I want to live. Yeah, that's the meaning of my life. So, And that's, that's your motto. You just gave us your motto right oh, there. Right. You just I did, did it. it. Yeah, you just <laughs> did it by chance, by accident. Yeah, right. Toku, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kamasami. <laughs>